Hey Corona, I'm Daniel, and I'm by myself, and this is CDS TV. Hun, is somebody by your car? Nah, I wouldn't worry about that. Just check out the gorgeous view. Look, you can see downtown Tempe from here. What is I, I gotta go. Are you serious right now? Cortez! Do you know anyone who is new to Corona and might need a new place to eat lunch or hang out and meet new friends? Friends Friday is a chance to meet new people while eating delicious pizza. Everyone's welcome and we will love to see you there. Fourth hour lunch will be held in Mr. Sacha's room and fifth hour lunch will be held in Mr. Webb's room today. And now here's some CSTV original content. Hey Corona! I didn't see you there. Corona Del Sol is hosting its February blood drive on Tuesday the 27th. If you are 16 or older, you are eligible to donate. We will bring permission slips by your rooms on Wednesday during ACT Lab. If you have a form, please return it to Mr. Forbes in A348 by that Friday. If you want more information, you can text to 81010 at CDS Blood. Hi Corona, I'm Mark and today we're doing another episode of Holiday History. And this time around it's going to be about Valentine's, so let's get right into it. St. Valentine's Day is a celebration born out of both Christian and Roman traditions in remembrance of St. Valentinius. There are three saints named Valentine recognized by the Catholic Church and each of these people are credited with the creation of this ancient holiday. The most popular legend takes place in 3rd century Rome when Emperor Claudius II decided that single men made better soldiers than ma married men with families. Believing such, he outlawed all marriage. Valentine, in defiance of this law, continued to perform marriages for young citizens in secret. When St. Valentine's actions were discovered, Claudius ordered that he be put to death. According to legend, St. Valentine actually sent the first Valentine's card himself to a young woman who he had fallen in love with while he was in prison. Pope Galatius declared February 14th St. Valentine's Day. It was not until much later, however, that the day became definitively associated with love. During the Middle Ages, it was commonly believed in France and England that February 14th was the beginning of birds mating season, which added to the idea that the middle of Valentine's Day should be a day for romance. Nowadays, however, Valentine's Day has evolved into something much different with all the new Hallmark cards and marketing schemes and different ploys they try to get you to buy into just so you don't feel like you're too single. Well, that was holiday history. I'm Mark and uh, I've got to get out of here. I've got a date. See you, Corona. <laughs> Juniors, it's time to think about next year. When you think about all this beautiful campus has to offer and all the things you could be doing to make it better, you're faced with one unavoidable truth. You really should think about running for student council. The purpose of student council is to give students the opportunity to develop leadership skills by organizing and carrying out school activities and service projects. We're in charge of school spirit, pep assemblies, tailgates, spirit weeks, dances, charity drives, Bonfire, and Camp Corona. But in addition to contributing to school spirit, events, and welfare, Student Council is the voice of the student body. Starting Monday, you can run for student body. This is to represent all the graduating classes in addition to your own. The application is online, so see Mr. Forbes in 8348 or Mrs. Baker in the activities office for a flyer with the link. Juniors only, please. Elections for next year's senior, junior, and sophomore classes will be held at the end of March. But seriously, you really should think about running for student council. Good luck to our boys basketball team playing at Sandra Day O'Connor tonight at 6.30 p.m. Hope to see you there.
name is Brianna Pierch. I'm from Mesa, Arizona. I have only been doing glass work for about two years. I was able to actually work with a guy who does sculpture at the Renaissance Festival, so he's been able to teach me a lot. I took a class at the Mesa Art Center that does the medium, and they mainly do like pendants and marbles and that kind of stuff. My name is Alex Ellis, and I am from a small town outside of Seattle called Bremerton. I play guitar, a little bit of piano, uh, a little bit of the uke, nothing like, too special though. My name is Trevin Siegel. My style is a, it's a tattoo style, it's graffiti, street art. A lot of my inspiration comes to just trying to create things that are elegant or beautiful or graceful. My main goal is to actually do this full time. Uh, I would describe my style as like a John Mayer meets Hunter Hayes. Yeah, it's kind of a weird combo of country, punk rock, rap like I try to do it all. My goals I would say just to just to connect with an audience you know. Art is my release I have four children and this is my like away time. This is my my zen moment at the end of the day it's my way to reconnect with the world and feel safe. Again. I've been coming to First Friday for a little while. An interesting atmosphere here. The people mainly <laughs> the crowds you have a lot of different kinds of artists it's not just one specific medium or one specific target audience. I've been down here consecutively for 38 months in a row. It's a wonderful community experience that happens every month. Always thousands of people, great energy, a lot of fun. How do you like it? My heart, I'm dying right now. <laughs> I like crying. That made me cry. That was like the Waiting on this world to change It's not that we don't care We just know that the fight ain't there So we keep on waiting uh, Can we change the name of the show? Uh, I don't go by that anymore. Better? I guess so. Um, anyway, welcome to Big Questions or whatever this show is called. I'm your host, Dan Casillas, and today we have the wonderful Mr. Nick Taylor. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Daniel? I'm doing really good. I know you're like a teacher, but what type of teacher are you? Uh, I'm a theater teacher. So you pretty much teach kids how to run a movie theater or what? Uh, no, uh, we learn about acting. Um, and theater history and things like that. So, is it cringy to say the word cringy? Um, I just found out what cringy means like two weeks ago. All right. So, oh, it's time for a lightning round. All right. Uh, the topic is numbers. So, just give me your favorite numbers. Okay. What's your favorite number? Uh, Thirty-seven. What's your least favorite number? Four. What? Give me a random number. Uh, A? What's your social security number? I don't give that out. Dang it! Why do we wait at night to call it a day? I... I don't know. I, I don't know. I thought you knew the answer. So. No, I, I don't know. Okay, you didn't know. Okay. So, um... Have you been on Splash Mountain at Disneyland before? I have been on Splash Mountain many, many times. Okay. I have a simulator. No. Yeah. You're supposed to be in that seat. Okay, I'm glad I wasn't. Well, that's the interview, guys. So here is the wonderful Nick Taylor. And my name is Dan Casillas, and this is Big Questions with Friendly Mark, or whatever this show's called. I don't know. Man, I'm so wet. Can I go now?
I'm Daniel, and this was CDS TV.